How's it going guys? We are back with another video here and this video is my all-time Devils team. I finished it off right now. The only thing that really isn't kind of finished is a, it's just kind of powering, the, powering them up to their max. But pretty much uh, this is going to be the final team I run with for a while. Unless like really crazy t uh, cards come out. But hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. I'm excited to show it. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. But here we go. There it is. The first line. We got team of the season, Jesper Bratt there. And uh, he has been very, very fun to use. I got this line reunited because this is the line that the Devils used the last time they made the playoffs in 2018. And it was a very, very fun line to watch. And uh, this is what I got. I had to put it together. I had to put it together. So there he is, 5'10", 185. I got Workhorse, Distributor, and Light the Lamp active on him with Silver Wheels as well. 94 Excel, 96 Agility, 94 Balance, 96 Endurance, and 94 Speed. Shot's really good as well, 93, 95, 95 and 95 so heck of a shot as well so brat is such a fun card to use and i have had a ton of fun using him so far he's got nine goals and seven assists and 17 games played so far for me and uh, i have just been so so happy to use this card so far next card we got evo nico who's been very good as well uh keep in mind guys those stats aren't gonna look amazing due to the fact that i was using him on my main team on the fourth line no power play no penalty kill time so his production is very low, but in general, as I've been using him, I've liked him a lot. He's been very solid, and I'm very happy with him. 6'1", 194. I got Heart and Soul active on him currently. Unfortunately, don't have Thief active, but still good enough. I have Born Leader active on him. I mean, I definitely should have it because, I mean, your first line. So I think definitely if you have Born Leader, you should probably activate it because it makes a lot of sense. Uh, but, yeah, I've, I've had a lot of fun using him so far. He's been a very, very solid card. So, yeah, I love Nico's card. And then we got MSP Taylor Hall, who's been very good as well for me. Another one of my guys that I didn't really use too much on my main team. So, that's why his stats are not really as maybe as amazing you'd think. But he's 6'1", 205. I got Workhorse Distributor active on him. Uh, I don't have anything else I can unfortunately activate on him right now. I have Make It Snappy and also have Elite Edges currently turned on him. And he has 99 Excel, 99 Agility, 98 Balance, 98 Endurance, and 99 Speed. Sounds like a pretty fun card, right? Max Shot, 99, 99, 99, and 99. Hall is so, so good in game. He always is. Base Hall is really good in game. No matter what, Hall just finds a way to be one of the best cards in the game every year. So, uh, yeah, I love Taylor Hall's card this year. Absolutely just a tremendous card. So, definitely a uh, huge fan of this first line. On the second line, we got Jamie Langerbrunner. I mean, the Devils just got so many matches at cards this year. I don't know why, but I'm not complaining. That's for sure. Uh, 6 1, 205, right handed shot. Uh, and like I said, I don't have Spark currently active on, on, on him. I could actually put Workhorse on him, though, to help his Excel out. 94 Excel, 99 Agility, 99 Balance, and uh, 92 Endurance, and 96 Speed active on him. I got Distributor and Light the Lamp as well active on him. Uh, Wingman would be really nice to have active, but unfortunately, I don't have that active. But uh, he is very, very good. All right, we also, has cl we also have Close Quarters and Born Leader. So... Also very, very good on the Slinger Brenner card. I'm a huge, huge fan. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a huge fan of the Slinger Brenner card a lot, guys. Uh, he is very sick. All right, moving on to the center position. How to get my guy, Adam Henrique, 91 overall, 187 left-handed shot. Applesauce and light the lamp on, on, on him, of course. Uh, Henrik's my guy. I mean, I had to have him four points in ten games so far for me. I love Henrik. I mean, I just do. He's, he's unreal. I mean... Obviously, the reason why my channel name is Henrik, he's really, like, again, it's just so funny to think about that if he didn't score that overtime goal against the Rangers, what would have been my YouTube name, right? Like, I just don't know. It could have been just, could have been anything. It could have been, like, Elias or something, right? It's just, a, it's the funniest thing, but things work out for a reason, so I'm very grateful for him to score that goal. But, yeah, Henrik's really been solid for me. Then we got Jack Hughes. I mean, kind of hard to put him on the second line because this card plays, like, a first line forward easily. 5'11", 176. He's got amazing skating stats, 96 Excel. 99 agility, 96 balance, 97 endurance, and 96 speed. Shots outstanding as well. 97, 96, 99, and 96 as well. It's got 89 face-offs, elite edges, shock and awe. Shock and awe is kind of one that I just put on for the culture to see, you know, if it would do anything. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm probably gonna take it off. It's not really doing too much for him, but you know what? I tried, that's for sure. I definitely tried. Uh yeah, he's been really fun to use though so far. Nine goals, ten assists, and 26 games played. So yeah, he's been fun. He's been fun. I mean, this team is definitely more of a team by committee. No one's really gonna have uh crazy stats, I feel like, because everyone kind of has to try to chip in. So yeah, that's what I got Jack Hughes on. 
Third line, we got Power Icon, Power of Icon, Brendan Shanahan. We only have him at tier 7. We definitely want to get him to tier 10 pretty soon. But right now, we only got him, unfortunately, at uh, this current tier. So, you know, hopefully, uh, we could definitely get him uh, to a higher tier soon. And he has some more power-ups. Uh, but he's 6'3", 220. He's a big boy. Uh, 89 Excel, 90 Agility, 95 Balance, 91 Endurance, and 91 Speed. 93, 93, 96, and 94 for his shot. So, a tremendous shot on Shanahan as well. Uh, 88 face-offs is not even bad either for a winger, but definitely going to play him on the wing, that's for sure. I'm not going to get too crazy here, but uh, yeah, Shanahan is a fun card to use. Former Devil Traffic, I believe, as well, so... Yeah, Shanahan's a fun card to use. And then centering him, I got Jesper Boquist, who just came out as well. They had like a brothers team of the week, and then they had him and uh, Adam, so that worked out for me. 88 Boquist. I mean, no synergies currently active on him. Can actually put Workhorse on him, though. That can help him out a little bit. But uh, other than that, you know, not too much. So 91 Excel, 91 Endurance, 89 Speed, 65 Face Offs. You know, or no, yeah, 65 Face Offs. Definitely, you know, definitely a little tough. I'm not going to lie, but, you know, we roll. Uh, Yarmir Yager, I mean, some people forget that he was on the Devils, honestly, but 6'3", 230, uh, workhorse and distributor active on him, 88 Excel, 90 Agility, 8, 99 Balance, 93 Endurance, and 89 Speed on him, Shot Ridiculous, 96, 98, 96, and 98, so, yeah, tremendous shot on Yager, uh, Yager's always a fun card to use, a little bit slow, that's for sure, but still, regardless, a fun card to use. On to the fourth line, we got Dawson Mercer. I'm really upset he didn't get a young gun team of the season. I really believe he deserved one. I mean, he's a really young player. He's a rookie. And he's having a tremendous season. So, I don't know. It kind of hurts. But 6 foot, 179, applesauce, and light the lamp. 89 Excel, 96 Agility, 88 Balance, 85 Endurance, and 89 Speed. 86, 97, 91, and 97 for his shot. 17 games played, and he has uh, no points. So, that's kind of tough. Forward line uh, has not really produced too much for me. Then we got Joe Newendike at 84 overall. I gotta start powering him up, definitely. I haven't powered him up at all, which is pretty ridiculous if you think about it. Uh, 6 2, 205. And uh, yeah, he's definitely gotta get powered up. I mean, for the fourth line, he's fine at 84. It's not the end of the world, but definitely he's a good card when you definitely upgrade him. So, I mean, certainly I'm gonna try to do that as soon as I possibly can. Six points in 17 games played. And we got Sharon Govich as well. Sharon Govich, one goal and 17 games played. Uh, has not really done too much for me, but that's okay. You know, another fourth line guy I don't really expect too much from. But, you know, I got to get Sharon Govich on the team. He's a fun player to watch for the Devils currently. On to the defense, though, we got P.K. Subban. Here's where the team really, I think, strives is the defensive end. Six foot, 209, right-handed D-man, workhorse, distributor, and fly the zone. Currently active on him. 94 Excel, 97 Agility, 99 Balance, 99 Endurance, and 96 Speed. His shot is 91, 99, 91, and 99. So a heck of a shot as well on him. Goal truculence is very broken, so I love having that on him as well. 36 goals, 120 assists, and 259 games played for him, though. Uh, he's been very, very fun to use. Then we got Scott Niedermeyer. I got him up to 91 overall right now. 6'1", 200 pounds. Light the lamp, heart and soul, and a strip currently active on him and uh, he's been very fun to use 92 excel 94 agility 96 balance 90 endurance and 94 speed he is the captain of the team as well 87 89 91 88 for the shot one goal seven assists and 32 games played for scott niedermeyer all right so uh then we got dougie hamilton x factor we we'll love him to get some upgrades soon here as well but even so he's definitely fine 6 6 229 with 91 excel and 92 speed his shot is 92 96 94 and 95 so unbelievable shot for hamilton he also has gold uh heat seeker that i have currently active so i mean definitely a very very good card and a fun card to use he's got 23 goals, 117 assists, and 905 games played. So, uh, moving on to Ty Smith. I don't have a max out yet. I definitely need to do that soon as well. Uh, fan of the channel, Ty Smith, 5'11", uh, 179. I don't have anything really currently active on him when it comes to speed. Could really help him out there, but I don't have that yet. We'll get to it soon, though. But uh, Ty, you know, fun to use, you know, for the culture as well. And, uh, yeah, one goal, five assists, and 17 games played for Ty. All right? Moving on to the third pair. Got Christian Yaros. I mean... You know, he's not like a really all-time great devil, but, I mean, he played for the Devils this season, and, I mean, he has a, ex he has a Hutch Champs card that is 96 overall, right, which is pretty absurd, so I feel like I might as well do that. He's 6'3", and if I fly the zone active, he'll, and plus a tribute, he'll have 95 speed, so that's absolutely absurd, so definitely I think it's worth it. He also has gold shut down, which I might activ activate as well once he gets to a higher overall. But, uh, yeah, I mean, for the third pair, certainly solid back there. And then we got Jonas Siegenthaler, one of the most underrated defensemen in the, in the whole NHL, in my opinion, in real life. So, 6'2", 218, and uh, we got Workhorse 
and a distributor currently active on him. 90 Excel, 92 Agility, 98 Balance, 98 Endurance, and 90 Speed on him. Shots mid, but he got shut down and quick pick. And uh, yeah, he's definitely a defensive guy, and I've liked him so far for sure. On to the goaltending, I got Baze Blackwood in net. I was using his 87, and he was really bad for me, so someone told me to use his base card, and he's actually been really good for me. Uh, and those stats don't look, really look too good, but he's been better than that. Uh, then we got Brodor as well, who's been a disaster as well in that, so that's why I haven't used Brodor. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's what we got right now for Brodor. So, yep, Tier 8, 94 overall. Don't have him out there. I mean, we have a Tier 2, so there you go, guys. And the coach, uh, I don't have a coach. Unless I'm one synergy away, I'm not from anything. So, no coach. As a team, let me know what you think of the team. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe to the channel here, and follow me on Twitch, Henrik, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrik with three E's, and Jolly Discord. Talk to me, follow and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.